Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be chasing walleyes in the hub house here. So it's a little bit of a windy day. Temperatures are not super terrible today, but it's very windy, which makes it a little frigid and tough for hole hopping. So we're setting up camp this morning. Going to fish for a little bit. My wife Jordan is going to be showing up here as well soon, so I'll probably pack things up and go pick her up in a little bit. But for now, we're out ice fishing and we're actually in the Devil's Lake area. If you've been following along, you know that I'm spending a handful of days over here and this is just such a cool area. It's so fishy. So I've gone out, you know, to dinner recently here in town and it's like everybody that you talk to is like, oh, they're here fishing. They're from here and they're fishing. And it's just a, a really fishy area, which I love. And there's a reason, reason for it. I mean, there's a lot of good lakes, whether it's Devil's Lake or it's some of the surrounding area. So I've always wanted to spend like a good number of days here fishing. And that's what we're gonna be doing as part of this 30 day fishing series. So anyway, I'm gonna get to jigging. Look at it. Come on. Get on the board here. Slowly wiggling it, taking it away. Waiting for that. Oop, tighten that drag a little. Had it a little bit looser when I was using a rattle bait earlier. Whoa. Look at that. Beautiful walleye. Awesome on the coffin spoon in a uh, fire tiger color but man this is just a beefy beefy brawny walleye look at that thing beautiful awesome look at its kind of pale coloring what a gorgeous fish i'm gonna get him right back in the water here beautiful kicked right off. That's the one thing that's really cool about uh, fishing for walleyes up here in the shallow water. Right now we're set up in six feet of water and man, when you hook up with them, they are angry. You don't have the chance to wear them out as you're fighting, so they still got a lot of energy after you pull them up. But that was awesome. I was just running, like I said before, the coffin spoon. And what's cool about the coffin spoon is the fact that it is like just really super loud and can kind of call fish in from a distance. You can probably hear the clacking, but it's got a couple different things going for it. It's got uh, that kicker tail, which clanks up against the body and against the hook as you're erratically jigging it, but it also has a little rattle chamber too. So this is kind of a cool bait for these uh, shallow water situations when you're just trying to attract fish to your hole because we're kind of you know, set up in an area where these fish are going to be roaming around and anything you can do to get them right down underneath you is something that you definitely got to do. So boom, we're on the board. And it's like a nice relaxed, like, oh, here's a wall again. Here's a hole. Oh. Come on back now, you hear? Come on back now, you gotta eat your breakfast. <laughs> That's a walleye. Oop. Come on, buddy.
crush it right away. There we go. Making a tangled mess, but walleye number two. I switched it up to the buckshot spoon because I got uh, rejected by a couple fish there. Um, and I think I got one of these in the pocket here. But yeah, this one just came directly up to it and just smashed it right away. Closer look at them right there. Beautiful North Dakota walleye. Back to the drink. So kind of uh, the main reason why I made the switch to this kind of smaller profile buckshot spoon with uh, more of a natural kind of yellowish perch color is I was using that more flashy coffin spoon and excuse me for losing my voice here, but uh, I was just coughing a little bit. But speaking of coughing, <laughs> the uh, coffin spoon is just a little bit of a bigger profile. It's really loud and proud. And I had brighter colors on it as well. I had fire tiger. And uh, yeah, so basically I got rejected a few times and I figured, well, let's go with something a little bit more subtle. I do have a dead stick right over there next to me with a, a minnow with just like a really small little hook. But uh, that hasn't popped off yet, but so far, it seems like the switch may be paying off, so. Here we go. Little guy. But another Walter. And that's two back to back since I've changed this little perch buckshot spoon. Kind of more, oops. Right back in the hole. He was ready to go. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Hey, where are you at? Uh, just on the lake. Are you almost at the hotel? I'm 28 minutes away. Okay. Come on. Darn it. That's a bummer. That was another bite that I just missed just got off the phone with my wife and uh it's one of those deals you don't catch them all come on here he comes there we go got him another one on the ice Ooh. and it's looking like it's looking like i forgot to turn this gopro back last bout of action so I gotta turn this puppy around just another beautiful North Dakota walleye We're right here in the Devil's Lake area about 15 15 minutes from my hotel there he goes right off the screen uh, about 15 minutes from my hotel right in Devil's Lake so really awesome fishing good action it's kind of fun to get some daytime action too that's uh one thing that I've sort of been lacking a little bit fishing in Minnesota I've kind of been picking my spots and fishing a lot of evening bites and it's nice to finally just be sitting out here kind of middle of the day catching some fish which is awesome but you know what my wife just called me and she's just getting into town so I think I'm gonna pack things up head back and meet her yeah probably grab some food or something definitely gonna be getting out here again tomorrow no doubt all right now before I wrap this video up I feel like I should just show you what I have going on right now in this hub house because it's just absolute craziness, like easily the most disorganized I've ever been. So uh, I'm just gonna give you a really quick tour before we wrap this thing up. Right here on the left side, whatever, we got bait, we got tackle box with headphones on top of it. And uh, that's sitting on top of a cardboard box, which that came in. Um, and the only reason why I have that is because I bought it this morning because I've been having problems with this big guy. And I'm sure it's nothing too crazy that I, you know, can fix. But for some reason I'm having problems with it. It might actually be having uh, some water in the hose. I'm not sure. But back right there I have the cover for my hummingbird. And the auger is sitting in the back. And then all the craziness over in this corner, corner is like 
kind of a lot to sort through. Like I got a bag full of food right there. And I know that I have some frozen water bottles in there because I didn't bring, bring them in. And sitting on a bucket, which I don't normally do. And then I have my dead stick rod hanging from just a hook basically that I use to uh, usually hang up my clothes. So I feel like I may even be missing something, but definitely super disheveled in here. And uh, yeah, now I need to attempt to pack it all up in some sort of fast manner because my wife is pulling into Devil's Lake right now and is expecting to meet me and we're gonna get some food. But uh, yeah, craziness, really fun fishing. Um, had plenty of fish come through. I didn't convert on all of them, but it was definitely good action. And I wanna thank all of you for watching all the way to the end here. This is just one video in a 30 video series where I'm gonna be fishing every single day for 30 days in a row and we're, I don't know, a little over halfway now. So thank you for following along. If you haven't been following along and you just caught this video randomly, check out some of the older stuff. But I appreciate all of you who watched to the end and I will see you tomorrow.